Well, hello everybody. This is Dave Burkus for the Burkus Report for Eye on Business. And today we're going to talk about what I think to be an important subject, and that is protecting your trade secrets and your company lists. You know, most senior and middle managers will understand when a subordinate comes to you and says they're going to leave or resign to start a new business. But all of us are going to immediately question whether the new business is going to compete in any way with the business that we hold and react accordingly, depending on what the person says. Even more suspicious is the action of an entrepreneur or an employee who resigns suddenly without notice or resignation. It's natural to worry over whether that person is off on a journey to a competitor. If the employee who's about to resign tells you that he or she is off to conquer the world in a completely different business or a new arena, there's almost always the unspoken sigh of relief and a cooperative attitude that flows from that point on in the conversation. But if the departing employee is even a little bit reticent to tell you of his or her plans, the result is the first stage of what could become an outright war between you and this newly separated past employee, which I am sure you will send away with an escort out the door. You can expect to have the same attitude if a past employee later resurfaces from a layoff or a resignation or being fired with a plan for a competitive business, or if an employee tells you that he's going to a competitor. Most employers have with their employees signed non-disclosure agreements and trade secret agreements and whatever else to protect those trade secrets. But many states recognize the right for former employees to work even if in direct competition with a past employer. But that right clearly stops when the employee or past employee uses a customer list or any trade secret from the past employer. Anyone can be sued, you know, even if without merit. And responding to a suit can be traumatic in so many ways, from expenditure of your time, your cash, emotional drain from the worry over an outcome, to loss of industry goodwill by that entrepreneur perceived to be stepping over the line. Well, this is especially true for someone who has sold his business or her business only to surface later to compete in one way or another with the buyer. Never underestimate the venomous response from such a threat. So here's my advice to you to give to departing employees. No matter what the circumstance, never ever be guilty of using trade secrets or ideas from your past employer, especially customer lists. This is Dave Burkus for the Burkus Report for Eye on Business.